today we're going to do a handstand workout um, so my name is Scott I'm a strength and skill coach um, passionate about movement fitness calisthenics yoga everything that has to do with moving the human body always search for ways to get more of, out of the human body and today I'm going to take you to a handstand workout so um, like I said I'm passionate about movement and the last year two years I've been going deep into handstands and there's a lot of things I want to share with you one of the things that I think is very important within handstand training is the strength training and flexibility training to be able to easier maintain your balance upside down so it's about building strength and confidence while being upside down I'm going to take you today to my three-step method and then we're going to do a warm-up a workout and a cool down and then it's already over hope you guys ready hope you guys have a towel you guys have a water bottle and i ain't gonna wait long sometimes i'll be checking the timer or be checking in with you guys and yeah that's about it if you have any questions drop them in the chat okay guys so let me see who's in all right we're gonna start with the three-step method so in the three-step method i'll shortly explain this to you guys i have the following i have building uh sorry my two-step method consists of building specific strength learning how to use the wall and play what do i mean by that so building specific strength is the first step in the three-step method it's about building strength in the muscles that are required for handstand but also in the way that they are used so that the transfer from the strengthening exercise towards the skill that's in uh, the handstand in this case is very um, big it's a big transfer so this, the influence is great so you'll actually notice a difference within your handstand two learning how to use the wall the wall is a very useful tool in learning handstand and maintaining handstand and also progressing in your handstand so it's important to always keep on using the wall it doesn't matter if you can do it without or you're already advanced it helps you to achieve new levels, to um, be upside down without fatiguing yourself because you don't need to um, yeah, balance as much when you have the wall and you can focus on different, different parts of the handstand. The third one and last one is playing and playing is learning different types of handstand skills in order to create a stronger foundation. So for example, walking on your hands, doing cartwheels and all that type of stuff so that you become, uh, you get a bigger box of skills that you can use in order to exit or enter a handstand or even correct yourself while being upside down so make you stronger but it'll also make you more confident while being upside down okay guys we're going to start with the first exercise we're going to warm up so i have a very direct approach in training my philosophy is repetition is the master of skill so it means we're going to put in the work and that's about it first for this one you're going to need a towel you're going to need your water and we're going to start with the first exercise in the passovers so i'm going to stand up i'm going to walk back a bit so you can see me yes so it goes like this you're going to have your arms here you're going to bring them all the way up and all the way down okay i'm going to hit the timer Thirty seconds. Let's go. Three, two, one. Yes. So all the way up, all the way down. Try to pull the towel apart. Don't arch your back. Bring your lower body belly in, tuck, and bring it over. Almost there. Yeah, five seconds. Yes. Yes, switch. Yes, no. <laughs> okay. Vamos, vamos, chico. Vamos, chico. See. Okay. So he also wants to join. Next up, we got the scapula push-ups. So you're gonna be in a planking position like this. You're gonna drop your shoulder blades and press them out. Drop the shoulder blades. Press them out. Drop. Press them up. Make sure the belly button is pulled in. Drop and press. Keep going. 
most of the weight is on your hands, on your toes, your one plank, arm straight. Very good. Next up, we got the wrist push-ups. So, you're going to be here, hands like this, the outside of your wrist on the floor, and then you're going to come down, push up, don't put too much weight on it, and come up. This is to warm up the wrist, give him some space, activation, so go down, face between your hands, and up. You don't need to lean on, on them so much, just a little bit. we go keep going three two and sit back okay now you're gonna grab your wrist like this and you're gonna rotate them we're gonna start in five seconds are you ready three two and there we go Rotate your wrist, both sides, other side. <laughs> 10 seconds. And we're gonna do it all over again. Second time, ready? Three, two, one, shake it off. Grab the towel and the pass over again. There we go. Pull it a bit apart, so you have a little bit of tension. Let it button in. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Up. Back. If you feel that's too hard, make it a bit wider. If it's too easy, make it a bit smaller. You might feel some pops, some cracks. That's fine. Almost there. Three, two, one, and switch. Let's stop. Let's a couple of push ups. So you're gonna go back at it. Position planking. Press yourself out. Protect the shoulders. Belly button in. There we go. And drop the shoulder blades. Up one, two, three. Fifteen seconds. Keep those arms straight. Three, two, one. Very good. Wrist push-ups. Here we go. So again, on your hands. Make sure with this one, don't put too much weight on it. It's just to open up and flex your wrist in this position. Opposite to the handstand position. Here we go and go down. Up, let's go. Keep it up, guys. A little bit of pressure. Just enjoy. And you're almost there. Three, two, one and relax shake the wrist off a bit we're gonna go to the last one of the warming up so the warming up is super important especially for the handstand for the wrist the arms and the shoulders ready there we go roll it out make sure you always warm up when you're doing a workout especially a handstand workout because you're putting a lot of weight on your wrist and it might hurt your wrist you can even do this after you did a workout, a handstand workout. It'll give you more space, but also give you more control. Three, two, one, and that's it. Good. Okay, we're gonna start. So, I'm gonna put down. There you go. So, we're gonna start with the um, workout the core of the workout. I got three sets for you guys, 30 seconds of every exercise, four exercises. 
15 seconds rest in between, and then we're gonna go on to the next set. Three sets in total. So we're gonna work. It's gonna be continuous work. Um, important to know this one. We're gonna build specific strength, and we're gonna learn how to use the wall. The playing part of the three-step method is not in this workout yet. So this is really first the beginning of building up strength and being at the wall again. If you wanna learn more about this three-step method, send me a DM or go check out my uh, handstand program. You can find more about it. Okay, we're going to start. I'm gonna put the timer on. We're gonna start with a pike hold. So I'm gonna let this run, run. Okay. Pike hold is this. Hands and feet. They're gonna come up. You're gonna to walk towards your hands. You're gonna bring the belly button in so you're not here. You're gonna bring the belly button in, hips up as high as you can. Press out as high as you can, lean forward on your toes. And we're just going to hold that. Just holding. Okay? So. Put it on. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So lean forward, press out, and just hold it. You can look between your hands or between your feet, whatever feels good. Try to bring a little bit more weight on top of your hands. You can walk forward, lean on the toes, press out. All the way, keep pressing. Don't stop, almost there. Last five, four, three, two, one. And relax. All right. Short rest, 12 seconds, 15 seconds. We're gonna go to chest to wall. So you're gonna find the wall. I have my beam here. Then you're gonna put your feet on the wall and you're gonna to walk towards the wall as far as you can. So if this is enough for you, you're gonna stop here and you're just going to hold it. Belly button in, press up. Again, look at your hands. If it's too much, go back. Don't stay till you fall. Go back safe, safety first. Almost there. And walk your hands forward. Slowly come up. Next one. For the next one, we're gonna to go to the dead buck hold. So you're going to be on your back, grab your towel. Yes, the timer is going a bit faster than I wanted to, but that's fine. On your back, here, belly button in, hold it. And squeeze. Just hold it. You have your arms in the air, on the floor, press your low back against the floor. As hard as you can. All right. Last one is the bear crawl. So the bear crawl, you're gonna be hands and feet, knees off the floor, and you're just gonna slowly move forward, move backwards. You can even move side to side. Make sure your knees stay underneath the hips, belly button in, wrist underneath the shoulders. Keep your core activated. Hold it there for three, two, one, and stop. So that went pretty fast. I'm gonna put it here. I'm just gonna let you guys get some breath. Okay, we're gonna continue to the next one. The next one, the next piece, we're gonna do the same exercises, but a little bit harder. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna make it a little bit harder. If you feel that it's still too, too um, advanced for you, just go back to the level that we did before. Okay, so the first exercise that we're gonna do is the bike hold, but now we're going to elevate our feet. So instead of being there, we're gonna put our knees onto the bench, couch, 
something like this. You see? And then you're going to hold it up. Lean towards it. Lean towards your hands. Let it button in. Try to get the hips above, above you, above the shoulders. Yes, so there is a cactus plant here, so I'm just gonna move that. Otherwise, I will start screaming, okay? So the chest to wall is gonna remain the same. The dead box is going to be a little bit more dynamic, but you'll see it when we do it. And the bear cross also has another exercise, okay? So we're gonna start. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So go into the position. Make sure you move. Hips above the shoulders as much as possible. Press out and stay there. If you can, you can bring the knees a bit off the plateau. And try to hold it. Good. We'll continue. Next one, chest to wall. So go back to the chest to wall. Just take your time. Slowly walk up. And hold it. Belly button in, press out all the way. And slowly come up. Good. Back to the dead box. Ready? And there we go. Same as before. Now we're gonna use the legs. So we're gonna keep your low back on the floor. And you're gonna just extend the legs one by one. Make sure, activate the core, belly button in, press your back completely against the floor. And time, very good. Back up. Back rolls. So follow me. So you're on a back roll, feet like this, you're going to move different directions. You're going to move and make a circle to the right. And then make a circle to the left. Keep your knees close to each other, just above the floor. Hold it. Three, two, and relax. Okay, good. That was the second set. Let's give you, give you guys a little breather. Give myself a little breather. It's hot in here. I'm at the moment in Puerto Escondido. It's super nice, but it's 30 degrees. So I'm sweating my ass off. <laughs> okay, guys, <clears throat> we're gonna go to the third set and as the last set. So all these exercises are to build strength in the shoulders, the upper back and the core to so be able to maintain a correct handstand position. Um, of course, you don't have to progress them as fast as we're doing right now. We're going really fast to it because I don't know what your level is and I want to keep this uh, workout as open for as many people as possible. But of course, if you need any advice or you want to talk about your handstand, you can send me a DM and let's have a conversation about it. Okay, the third set. In the third set, we're going to get the pike hold and then we're going to go with the pike hold. We're going to try to elevate and do it on our feet. We're going to get the chest to wall, say similar, maybe a bit closer. We're going to do a hollow body. 
and with the back crawl we're going to try to touch our feet and make it a little bit more dynamic okay i'm going to keep the same tempo i know it's fast if you miss a few a few uh, seconds of the exercise that's fine you can always repeat it and do it again later okay guys let's get busy so we're going to start with the pike hold so get your ass to the couch or the bench and we're going to start in three two one let's get it so you're going to be on top of it now walk your feet out a bit more lean towards your hands hips above press and hold it press out all the way keep holding it three two and high very good okay just the wall get ready and hold it try to get a bit closer press everything squeeze your glutes Belly button in, shoulders all the way out, pressed in the floor. And come out of it. Good. Dead box again. Grab a towel. And we're gonna to go to the last variation of that box, and that's the hollow body. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten those legs, low back in the floor, arms up, hold it. Squeeze. Five seconds. Good job. Last one, the back rolls variation. Now, look at it fast. What we're gonna do is you're gonna be here. You're gonna tap the feet one by one. Try to stay as steady as possible. Keep going, tap the feet. Play with it. If you want, you can turn open and tap them here, out of the way, tap them there. Just tap the feet, keep the knees close to the floor. Knees close together. Hold it for three, two, one. All right, guys, good job. That was the workout. Now we're going to continue and we're going to end it off with a nice cool down. I'm going to put this timer off. Yes, very good. So, just follow me with the cool down. You're gonna need your towel again. Place it on the floor. We're gonna start with some wrist rolling. So what did we do? We worked on static poses like pike hold that are similar to handstand position to train the shoulders and the upper back. We worked on chest to wall. Chest to wall is a position that you're in when you're in a handstand. We have to basically do the same thing as in your handstand, but now you're having a wall to support yourself. We worked on a hollow body or a dead box to mirror, mirror basically how you uh, activate the core within a handstand. It's pelvic tilt backwards and squeezing. And we worked on a bear crawl. And the bear crawl is a core exercise where you use a lot of different muscles that will help you get stronger on your shoulders, in your arms, in your chest. And this will eventually also help you get stronger in this handstand position. Okay, so next part. So we're gonna go to thread the needle. We're gonna give the shoulders a little bit of relief. So what you're gonna do, sit with your knees wide, 
open up, breathe in, breathe out, stick it through, and hold it. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and back. Put your hand back, all the way up, switch sides. So again, you rotate open, you thread the needle through, put your ear down, just like this, head down on the floor, just relax, maybe even close your eyes, straighten out the other arm, and lie on your shoulder, hold it for 10, Four, three, two, one. And slowly come out of it. Yes. Lose the hat, lose the points. Okay. Puppy pose. Next one. You're going to put your arms like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to melt your chest into the floor. Less like this. Keep your hips up. And just relax. Put your chin, your forehead, or even your chest. Depends on your level on the floor. Relax. This is to open up the upper back, give some space. And back. So for the shoulders and upper back, give you some space again. Okay, then the last two, let me speak fast, is the sunflowers they're going to be here you're going to grab your elbows just like this you're going to start here and then you're going to go up pull open on one side and then on the other side we're going to do it three times there we go one breathe in two three and switch sides one Two, and that's one, three, slowly roll up, okay last one to calm the nervous system down, get all the toxins off the body, we're going to do five breaths, cleansing breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth, breathe in, breathe out, in, out, in, out, last two, in, out, last one, in, out. Yes, guys, good job. Great that you were here working out with me. This was a handstand workout to work on your specific strength, learning how to use the wall, and learning how to play. Um, if you like this and you want to talk more about it, you can send me a DM and let's have a conversation on your handstand journey or handstand progress. If you would like to have 30 minutes and uh, want me to look at your handstand, go to my link in bio and book a handstand assessment. And I'll give you a 30 minute coaching call where we work on your handstand and I will help you transform your handstand skills with just 30 minutes. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next time. Peace.